Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robin Hood portfolio. Today I thought I would do an update video detailing you guys what is in my portfolio with all stocks listed and any significant changes since I made my last update video, which I believe was a few weeks, maybe about a month ago. Uh, current portfolio value you can see up top there, just over $75,000. And like I said, I'll be going through showing you guys each of my individual shares as well as the number of uh, shares of each position that I hold as well as any significant changes I've made since the last update video So having said all that let's jump into the portfolio here up top I have my ETFs first starting with DVY there SCHD SDY SPHD and VYM and you can see I made a quite significant uh, trade here for some shares of SPHD here This is a great ETF that has a monthly dividend payment Which is great uh, it does have uh, somewhat of a high expense ratio, 0.3%, but with that monthly dividend, I can get in and out of the stock while picking up the dividend and uh, essentially buying other stocks in the interim. And that's the whole rationale behind picking up SPHD. Uh, below that, I have my healthcare stocks, first starting with pharmaceutical companies, ABBV, Avi Incorporated, LLY, Eli Lilly and Company, PFE, Pfizer, as well as PTLA Portola. This is another company I have a significant holding in. And it's been doing quite nicely over the last three months here, up 51.99%. So that's one stock that's been doing very well over the last few months here. Below my pharmaceutical stocks, I have my healthcare services company, first starting with ABT there, Abbott Laboratory, CAH Cardinal Health, as well as J&J &J, Johnson & Johnson. Below my healthcare stocks, I have my industrials, first starting with the aerospace, BA Boeing, LMT Lockheed Martin, GE General Electric, MMM 3M, ITW, Illinois Toolworks, a couple of railroad companies as well, CNI, Canadian National Railroad, UNP, Union Pacific Railroad. Below that, one supply company, IP International Paper, and one chemical company, DOW, Dow Chemical. Below that, I have my consumer discretionary, first with automotives, F for Ford, GM, General Motors, one electronics company, GRMN, Garmin, one uh, general merchandise, TGT Target, a few restaurant companies here, MCD, McDonald's, YUM, Yum Brands, and then YUM, Yum Brands China, the YUMC there. Below that I have one textile company, VFC, VF Corp. Agriculture, I have ADM, Archer Daniels Midland, which is the start of my consumer staples companies. Uh, one foodstuffs, SYY, Cisco. Household products, two companies, CL, Colgate, KMB, Kimberly Clark. Packaged goods, I have two companies, SH, excuse me, HSY, Hershey Company, KHC, Kraft Heinz Company. Below that, personal products, PG, Procter & Gamble. A few beverage companies, BUD, Anheuser-Busch, KO, Coca-Cola, PEP, PepsiCo. Below my consumer staples, I have my financial stocks. First starting with BOFI, Bank of the Internet, HBAN, Huntington Bank Shares, MS, Morgan Stanley, and WFC Wells Fargo and Company. You can see here I also bought a few more shares of uh, BOFI here, 51 shares currently, 12, 13, doing a swing trade with that company. Uh, I'm hoping to sell those shares off in the next month or so. Uh, and I have one insurance company, ORI, Old Republic International. Uh, below my financials, I have my information technology, first starting with IBM, International Business Machines, AAPL, Apple. AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, and INTC Intel. Uh, and then rounding that off, MSFT Microsoft. A couple uh, telecoms, T, at and VZ, Verizon. One energy stock, XOM, ExxonMobil. I went ahead and did a swing trade and then picked the shares back up for a little bit of a cheaper price. Uh, currently 82.04 is my average cost. It did trend down here a bit, 81.90, but I'm gonna be holding this for the next few months. Uh, at least 
Below XOM, I have a couple of utility companies. First, starting with CNP, Centerpoint Energy, ED, Consolidated, Edison, and SO Southern. Below that, I have my real estate investment trusts, APLE, Apple Hospitality, FRT, Federal Realty Investment Trust, O Realty Income Delaware, and STAG, Stag Incorporated. And then rounding out my portfolio, I have some closed-end funds and business development companies, GOF, Gutenheim, PCM, PCM Fund, PSEC, Prospect Capital, which has been trending down here a bit. It may cut its uh, dividend, which is accounting for that uh, downtrend. But you can see over the last year, it's up 32.31%, much higher than the uh, net asset value, which is around $5. So very risky stock there. A great dividend since I've had it. And if you go to the bottom here, you can see I've had this for quite some time here with a long track record of solid dividends. But like I said, it's probably going to get its dividend cut within the next month or so, maybe next uh, few months. Uh, I think actually it's already declared its next three months. So I think at month four, uh, after this uh, recent um, round of dividends, it's going to uh, be cut. So I would not be jumping into that stock anytime soon. Uh, one more uh, close in fund there, PTY PIMCO. Uh, one bond trust, BHK BlackRock Core Bond Trust, and then a few penny stocks on the bottom. Uh, BAC plus B, Bank of America stock, as well as SDR, Sand Ridge Mississippian Trust. So that's the current portfolio. Haven't made a lot of uh, new additions to the portfolio. Have definitely been dollar cost averaging a few of these stocks, as well as making some swing trades on the stocks that I pointed out. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys an updated video of my current portfolio with all stocks in it. Again, on the left, you can see the number of positions I have as well as the number of shares underneath each of those particular stocks that I uh, just went through here. So again, some of the uh, more significant changes were to SPHD, uh, an ETF up top that, get, that gives a monthly dividend as well as PTLA Portola, which has been doing phenomenal over the last few weeks here. So that's my portfolio. Let me, uh, let me know if you guys see any big changes I should make with the portfolio. Let me know what you guys are doing with your portfolios. And again, if you guys have any good advice for me, let me know. Any good ideas for videos, upcoming videos, let me know as well. I have a little bit of a backlog, but I'll try to get out videos as quickly as I can. So yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until next video, we'll see you then.